by Chidi and K. Wipara. The latest reactions were posted by the former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Chief Omeka Ihidioa, Sir Felix Chidi Ediga, Awari Indigenes in Boston, United States of America and the League for Equity and Justice. This came as I'm a All Progressives Congress, APC, stakeholders popularly known as Allied Forces, declined to participate in the planned APC Congresses, as the matter is currently in court. The former Deputy Speaker said it was incontrovertible that this move being undertaken by Governor Rokis Okorocha and Imo State House of Assembly is a colossal assault on all known democratic tenets, including freedom of choice, freedom of association and the right of an individual to aspire to any position in the land. Governor Okorocha must therefore stop this open display of gross abuse of power and treatment of Imolites as conquered people who must be humiliated and subjugated. This is manifest in the planned impeachment of Princess Madamir which in all intents and purposes is irresponsible, undemocratic, illegitimate, or irrational, egocentric and therefore, should be reconsidered forthwith, in the interest of the state and sustenance of democracy. In his reaction, Chief Felix Chidi Idiga pleaded with IMO lawmakers to drop this warlike situation in the state and embrace dialogue where issues are resolved amicably so as to save our state and democracy from degenerating into a theater of political war and embarrassment. Continuing, Idiga said the legislature has not been seen in many quarters to have lived up to its expectations in championing checks and balances amongst different tiers of government as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution. Let us remember that IMO state is greater than any singular individual. Let us give peace a chance. Enough is enough please, Idiga pleaded. A wary indigenes in Boston, United States of America described the alleged conviction of Madamir in an American court as baseless and untrue. If truly the crimes leveled against the deputy governor were true, which we can prove are not, as we have found no evidence here, having painstakingly visited the Justice Department to verify the accusations, why then are they coming out now after Princess Madamir stood up for the people of Imo State to challenge an attempt to foist the governor's son-in-law on the people against the wishes, the group queried. They called on well-meaning Imo sons and daughters who love democracy and rule of law to stand up and rose this dangerous trend before it is too late, stressing that if we turn blind eye today, evil will become bolder and tomorrow, it may be you who will become its next victim. The League of Equity and Justice urged Imo State Chief Judge Justice Pascal Nadi to respect the pendency of the suits and obey the order of the Abuja High Court. Group reject moves for fresh congresses Meantime, IMO State APC, stakeholders popularly known as Allied Forces, yesterday said they would not be part of the planned APC Congress this weekend. According to the spokesperson of the Allied Forces, Theodore Ikchi, who spoke to Vanguard in Awari, the matter has gone to the appeal court. It will be recalled that Governor Rokis Okorocha had announced to his supporters that the National Working Committee NWC had given him order for fresh local government and state congresses on Saturday, July 21 and Monday 23, 2018, respectively. But according to Ikchi, we have been assessing and trying to find out what really orchestrated the sudden change in gear by the national chairman of the party without consulting the stakeholders of the party, given that this has to be done in view of the pending case in the appeal court. We stand by the last Congress, we stand by our accreditation while we respect the statement of the court.